All right, welcome back to another installment of Then and Now at CHSS. And thanks everybody for all the shares we've been getting, all the positive comments uh, on the street. So very nice, I hope you're enjoying them. We're having a lot of fun doing them. So today we are in the Science Hall at Central Huron Secondary School. This hallway was redone two years ago, completely renovated the hallway, the classrooms. They look beautiful. Some of the additions in the hallway is uh, we had new benches put in. Oh! Sounds like some mad science going on in that room over there. Um, anyways, we had new benches put in. We have Wi-Fi in the hallway. Down on the bottom of the benches. Holy dude. Down on the bottom of the benches, we have uh, plug-ins for laptops. We have USB charging ports. Uh, a lot of students will sit here and they'll work on their assignments out in the hall. It's a very quiet hall. Anyways, very beautiful. So we're going to go in. And we're going to see Miss Ross Holton, she's the head of the tech department, and we're going to find a little more information on the classrooms, the renovation, and everything that has happened in these hallways. So, stick around. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we're in one of the science labs with the head of the science department, Miss Ross Holton. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for coming in. Yes, uh, before we get started, uh, congratulations to Miss Ross Holton. You've been coaching the Envirothon team here at the school for six years. No, actually, uh, since 2004. Oh, since 2004. Yeah, so 14 years. 14 in years. Marathon. In the last six years, you went to the provincial championships. You're going for the third time this year. Right. So you won here in Perth a couple weeks ago, six wonderful students, and you're now taking them to a provincial championship. Yes. That is fantastic. Now, a lot of viewers out there are going to say, what is an Envirothon competition? Can you kind of tell us what that might sure. look like? So it's a, an environmental science competition for high school students. Uh, teams of five compete, and they become experts in forestry, wildlife, okay. soils, aquatics. And every year there's a different special topic. So this year it's climate change. So the students mm -hmm. learn about those topics and they write tests and they have to do a presentation as well. They're given a problem and they have to prepare an eight minute presentation with their solution to the problem. And then they present that to judges and they're scored on that as well as their tests. And uh, it's a North American competition. Oh, wow. uh, we have our Huron Perth Regional that we just won. And then there's a provincial level one, and the winner of that goes on to a North American competition wow. in the summertime. So do they know ahead of time what the problem is that they have to prepare for? Yeah, the okay. regional we know. We're told about two weeks ahead of time. What, and so okay. this year they had to design a, a plan for a woodlot, a okay. management plan. Yeah. And when we go to provincials, they don't know. So they're told at 8 o'clock in the morning what the problem is, and they have four hours to put their presentation Oh, together. that'll really put them to the test. Yeah, yeah. Well, congratulations Thanks. to you and the students that uh, won that competition. Awesome, it's such an important thing, and the environment and science so closely tied together right. always. I always think our science teachers are our environmental spokespersons. So, Miss Ross Holton, you've been here uh, when we had the old labs, yeah, and you're now here when we've had the new labs. Uh, what were some of the dramatic, what dramatic, what are some of the changes that, uh, that are different now from years ago? Yeah, so it's amazing, it was a beautiful renovation. Uh, we have a lot more space. I was in a very, very small room where our, we had some seating and one lab area. We could never fit the whole class around that one lab area. And they knocked out uh, all the walls on this side of the hallway and turned four rooms into two rooms. So I've almost doubled the space of this room, the biology room. Wow. And also the other two labs um, just received a complete renovation. The big changes are they're much more safe. We have a lot of safety features built in. Uh, we have three fume hoods. We only had one before. Uh, we have um, an automatic gas and electricity shut off yeah. button throughout the room so that if we had a fire, we could turn off the, the power and the gas immediately. And uh, we have warning lights that tell us when the gas is on so that we won't forget to turn yeah. the gas off when we don't need it. Uh, and really just uh, the yeah. air quality is better. The ventilation is better. Every room has its own uh, rooftop unit so that yeah. we can control the temperature in here and the airflow in here. Awesome. You talked about a, a hood. Is that the hood at the back of the room here with the glass door on right. it? Is that yeah. where dangerous experiments get done right. inside? Yeah, so when we want to blow something <laughs> up, we do it in the fume hood. That sounds um, cool. Any toxic fumes will get sucked yeah. right up out to the outside. I gotta ask, you've got some, uh, I'm gonna call them specimens in jars back yeah. here. Um, where do you pick those up? Walmart? Or? <laughs> no, not Walmart. Uh, we have to order those from the science companies. Okay. And, and most of our specimens that we have on display are really old. So a lot of yeah. our viewers probably will remember them from their oh, science wow. rooms. So those, 
Jared things could be 40 years old. Yeah, 40 or 50 years old. Um, a lot of our stuff came from Seaforth as well when it closed. So we, uh, when I moved over from Seaforth, we brought a lot of our old antiques with us. And oh. we, we display them proudly in the classrooms. Yeah, yeah. No, that's for sure. I love antiques, so yeah. I think that's terrific. Now, one of the... Uh, a lot of our viewers are probably wondering if they're going to see a shot of the greenhouse. Are we going to show them the greenhouse? Well, unfortunately, no. Uh, we lost the greenhouse a couple of years ago. Yeah. Uh, it was in, in rough shape and needed an extensive amount of work and yeah. it just wasn't feasible to keep it. It's about four years. Running. Yeah, I know. Very expensive. Yeah. Uh, one, of the, one of the downfalls of a, a population of students of 1,500, going down to 500, you can't run everything all the time. Um, and because of that, the the renovations needed to keep it going. Mm -hmm. It wasn't safe anymore. It was outdated mm -hmm. and uh, it got taken down and uh, maybe someday we'll find another way to bring something like that back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so for sure. Okay. And uh, so these are beautiful rooms. So we're going to take a little tour around and what do you think one of the former teachers would say if they came in? Do you think they'd like this change? I, I think they'd be shocked. You think yeah, they'd be shocked? I think they'd be shocked. They might wonder what a, a smart board is. Yeah. Um, all our rooms have smart boards now and we've got Chromebooks and iPads. Yes, I see the Chromebook card. Yeah. You have a card that yeah. stays right in the room here all yeah, the time. Yeah, we awesome. have 25 okay. Chromebooks. Well, you know what we should do is I should, I should find one of the former teachers and bring him in and show him. Absolutely. Well, why don't I go out into the hall and get one? <laughs> we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Mr. Hodgins is here, uh, former science department head here. And teacher. Yes, and teacher, obviously. yes. And uh, met Miss Ross Holton, our current department head here. And they've met once before, but it was quite a while ago. So you're just meeting for the first time. So you can follow along and we are going to do a tour of uh, all the labs. This room was 228. It's still 228, but it's double the size now yeah. so it's great we have um, a student sitting area working area and then all this lab space so this is all our chemical storage and it's all vented properly and, um, yeah, all the chemicals are inventory safely stored that's kind of what we used to have it's yes stored. yeah which is basically nothing right yeah and this yeah. beautiful renovation yes it's amazing yeah so that's the back end of that's the same food. Yeah, that, and then we have a few mud over here. here. Yeah. Uh, now there is a class in there right yeah. now. So maybe we'll go across the hall. Yeah. They've been around a long time. We should get a picture of you holding one. <laughs> <laughs> you remember this one? Oh sure. That's we, we cut a few of those just like that. Oh, did you? Do you think you maybe cut those? Not that. Or, one. No. Okay. No, it was purchased, but we dissected pigs. Yeah, oh. And I brought in cow's hearts and cow's lungs. Oh, really? Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Wow. So we tried to preserve anything that was in good shape and the students would enjoy seeing. I gotta look at this. Looks all too familiar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure, it's part of your collection. You know what? I did make that collection. Yeah. Mr. Hodgins, thanks for coming back and being part of the, the tour. Uh, what did you think of the uh, new science labs here? Awesome. I just can't get over the improvements. Uh, that's awesome. We were antiquated compared to this, that's for sure. <laughs> well, that's good to hear. We're going in the right direction. Now, for our viewers, we came across something right here. Can you tell us about these displays that are still on display here at CHSS? Well, I made that butterfly collection when I was taking a summer course in entomology was one of the requirements to make a, a collection, and that's part of it. I had a bunch of other insects that are probably decayed and falling apart. Yes. But I'm amazed that this is still in great shape. Yeah, and that's students good. looking at it all the time. So yeah. that's that's very cool to come across that. And uh, now I've got to ask you one question. 50, almost 50, 50 years ago. What a good 50 years ago this year. That is awesome. No, next year. Yeah. i got to ask you one uh, serious question before we go, though. This has been on my mind and I'm sure other people's, there was a rumor going around that while you were teaching here, you created a concoction that slowed down the aging process and that's why you've always looked so good. Oh, that's not true. It's not? No, it's You're from, putting an end to that myth? It that came from breathing all the formaldehyde fumes over the years. <laughs> and that's why I'm so well preserved. That's why you're so... Yeah. Okay, Mr. Hodgins, thanks thank once you, again. Sir. And thanks for coming and my I pleasure. hope you enjoyed the tour. Uh, absolutely. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, thanks for joining us again. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little tour through our science department. Uh, remember hit share on this 
Uh, this week we're giving away a $40 gift card to Subway. There's something everybody can use. Our kids have been eating Subway. Uh, they go uptown for lunch and eat there once in a while, so it's great to partner with them today. And uh, thank you very much, and we'll see you next week.